Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys we're gonna be going over haptic service, whatever uh what it is and what everything uh what it does and everything in it. So let's get right into it. If you guys have never heard of haptic service and no idea have no idea what it is, well it's the service that you can Okay, let me let me put it in the simplest way possible. You know um the vibration in your Xbox controller, uh PlayStation game pads, you know quest touch controllers um and iphones there are vibrations and stuff like that that is called haptic feedback um and basically what a haptic service is is it allows you to have that vibration feedback in your game example in gta 5 i don't know if you guys would even play that game but um, when you're driving a car if you have the vibrations on your controller whatever you're playing on vibrates uh when you're driving a car and Fortnite, if you have vibrations on your controller or whatever you're playing on vibrates when you build something so that's what i'm talking about haptics that is what it's called haptics allow your device to you can have feedback using the vibration in that device you know everything but basically a keyboard and mouse okay guys so i'm in the game right now and i turned on or i just made it so my controller vibrates i have my xbox controller and it's vibrating and I don't know how else you guys can hear the vibration or actually see it. But if I put it on my table, I don't know if you guys can hear that noise, but hold on. Uh, you, may, you guys may have been able to hear that, but that's basically what I'm talking about. Uh, haptics, like your device vibrates and it allows feedback for the player. So the first thing on my list is, is motor supported? Um, what this is talking about is this just is making sure that the motor, um, you know, if it's available to be used uh, in the device that we put in. So if haptic service, colon, is motor supported, we put in the, the motor or the input type, which is enum dot user input type. And then there's gamepad one and everything. Gamepad one is basically your controllers, your everything. So I'm putting gamepad one. The second thing it takes is uh, Edom die vibration motor. And there's lots of different uh, vibration motor types. So if I make it so you guys can see this, there's large, small, and all these other ones. So I'm gonna see if my gamepad can support the small motor and uh, if it does, I'm going to say supports. All right, so let's play this. Okay, guys, so we go in the game, and I check the output. It says supports because I have my controller connected. Now, if I stop the game, I take out the batteries in my controller, and I just turn it off. I go into the game again, and I check the output. Oh, it still says supports. Hold on. All right, so there we go again. Uh, it doesn't uh, say it supports because uh, my controller is off so nothing supports that motor and also the next thing is is vibration supported so is vibration supported this takes just the user input type so enum.userinputtype.gamepad1 if it does support it okay let me go into the game let me make sure everything's on and i go into the game check the output it still says supports because vibrations are enabled. You would just use these to make sure your device uh, supports everything. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be making a module script to show you guys how all this can be, how all this works, and how to do it. So, vibration and motor support, it just checks this. It just checks to make sure everything works because you just want to make sure everything is supported before you actually set any motors and stuff like that. Now the next thing is set motor. This is where all the magic happens when the vibration starts and everything like that. Uh, where you set the the user input type and the type of uh, motor that you want. This is where it all happens is in set motor. So this takes three things: haptic service dot set o colon set motor. This takes again the user input type. So enum dot user input type. I'm gonna say gamepad one. The type of vibration motor i'm gonna put in uh, large even though there's all these other things this is for left hand right hand is for vr devices and left trigger and right trigger 
I'm actually not for sure. I can test that. Uh, I'm actually going to test that. All right, well, guys, I'm actually not for sure what these do, but I'm just going to say large, so the larger motor. And the third thing uh, in set motor actually takes the, like, uh, amount. Uh, so in set motor, there is uh, a vibration value, which uh, is the intensity of how the motor should vibrate. So I'm pretty sure this is 0 to 1. So you can determine the intensity between 0 to 1. So I'm going to put in 1 so it's like max intensity. Yeah, so this value is between 0 and 1. Determine the intensity. I'm going to put in uh, 1. So basically when I go into the game, I don't think you guys are able to hear it or do anything like that. But my controller is vibrating. Uh, I'm, <laughs> you guys could hear that. If I put my mic on my controller, you can hear that. Uh, but it is vibrating. See, I'm on my controller and it is, everything is working. Um, so before we use set motor, we want to check if the motor support and vibration is supported, uh, before we set the motor. And yeah, that's basically very simple and basically the basics of how haptics work and everything like that. There is another thing in haptic service, which is get motor, which in my opinion is not very important. But if you guys do want to search and look on that, then please do. I just feel like what I'm about to show you, it doesn't really require get motor. Um, so now what I'm about to show you guys is how to make a module script out of this so that you don't have to get haptic service. Check for is motor and is vibration supported every time and set motor every time. So basically, I'm about to show you guys how to make this more efficient and actually make this more portable in your Roblox game. So let's get uh, right into that. All right, so to start off, we are going to just get rid of this for now. By the way, I never like said this, but this needs to be in a local script because we need to get the device and everything like that on the local script. So this needs to be on the client. Uh, so every module that gets this needs to be on the client. So in replicated storage, I'm gonna make a new module script. And I'm going to call this ha haptics, probably. I mean, it's good enough. It doesn't really matter what you call it. So here we are. We have our module. And first thing we need to get is our services, which will be our haptics. Haptic service. Haptic service. Actually, zoom out. And then function. Uh, I'm going to make two functions. So rumble controller. Um, and this, I'm putting three functions. So this will be called start rumble. I'm just calling it rumble and stop rumble. Um, so basically, what um, this is hap what is going on is when we call rumble controller, the rumble or vibration will happen for a certain amount of seconds that we will put in. But start rumble just starts it with no uh, cooldown and stop it just stops it so this is function is for um the amount of time which we know so like uh we're, we're gonna put in amount of time which we know like the the length of but if we don't know the length of something we're gonna call start at the start of that something and the stop at the end of that so in our rumble controller up here we're gonna put in our controller our motor our amount right our amount of vibration and also the um, like the rumble time or duration, I might just put in duration. I would either put in duration or rumble time, but I might, and I'm, just, I'm just gonna put rumble time. So when we have those, we can actually get uh, this working. So if haptic service colon is motor supported, controller motor and haptic service is vibration supported controller um controller yeah then we're going to say haptic serve oh haptic service set motor controller motor and then amount uh yeah amount okay we're gonna say task dot wait uh, rumble time or whatever you put for there and we're gonna copy this and put zero 
for amount. Okay, so that's our first function done. And and these I'm gonna say controller motor amount down here. I'm going to say controller motor. Okay, so in start rumble, we are going to say the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna copy this. Just get and get rid of the code in here. Okay. And then haptic service set motor again controller motor amount same thing down here we're going to copy this put it down here set the amount to zero because we are stopping it so now our module is done and you can call this from any script and it makes it more optimized so in here what we can then say is the local haptics is equal to require game dark case first way for child haptics and we can call haptics so haptics uh, I can just call rumble controller so uh, enum dot user input type dot gamepad one enum dot vibration motor dot large uh, and the amount which is I'm just gonna put one and then the rumble time I'm gonna set, have set for three seconds and I'm also going to wait three seconds before all of this happens so let me play the game uh, after three seconds my controller does start uh, and then after three seconds it stops I know you guys again couldn't hear that or like actually feel any of that that's the difficult part of explaining this but it actually did happen and yeah everything works as normal so if I didn't explain what these two functions basically did uh, before in my game, in my simulator, I have an uh, egg hatching system. And so I have the rumble happening for when you are hatching the egg. And basically, I'm not in my game, I'm not using rumble controller. I'm using start rumble and stop rumble because I don't know how long the vibration uh, should be and will be. So I'm just setting st start rumble at the start of the egg hatching and stop rumble at the end. So I don't have to determine the amount of seconds it is or that very specific amount of time uh, that the, the egg hatching is. So I can just put in start rumble and stop rumble and make things a lot simpler. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys just enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.